Hey friends, welcome back to my channel Nursing Study Expert. This is Roshni Shah and we are discussing today top 20 nursing interview questionnaire for experienced ICU nurse. What is ABG? Mention its components. ABG is arterial blood gas analysis. It is the invasive procedure to measure oxygen level in the blood. It is a procedure to measure how well your lungs and kidneys are working. The components of ABG are pH 7.35 to 7.45. Partial pressure of oxygen PaO2 is 8200 mm of Hg. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide EaCO2 is 35 to 45 mm of Hg and normal bicarbonate HCO3 is 22 to 26 or 28 milli equivalent per liter. Which test you will perform before ABG? Modified Allen's test. Occlude the radial and ulnar artery of patient and ask client to clench the fist for multiple times. You can see whitish plunge in the palm. Slowly release the pressure from ulnar side. You can see pinkish return in 3 to 5 seconds. If it is more than 8 seconds, we cannot use that extremity for ABG. What are different types of oxygen administration? It is non-invasive and invasive. The non-invasive method of oxygen administration includes nasal prongs, face mask, venturi mask, CPAP and BiPAP. The invasive method of oxygen administration includes mechanical ventilation, in that endotracheal intubation and tracheal stop. What are different modes of mechanical ventilation? It is non-invasive mode and invasive mode. The non-invasive modes are NIV pressure control mode and NIV pressure support mode. The invasive mode includes volume control, pressure control, pressure support or CPAP, volume support and SIMV. Synchronized intermediate mechanical ventilation. What are the complications of prolonged ventilation? Ventilator-associated pneumonia Ventilator-associated lung injury Tracheal or laryngeal injury Laryngotracheal stenosis Stress ulcer Hypotension and pressure ulcer What are the stages of pressure ulcer? There are total four stages of pressure ulcer. Stage 1 includes superficial layer of skin. And the sign of grade 1 pressure ulcer is redness. The skin will be intact. Grade 2 pressure ulcer involves epidermis and dermis layer of the skin. First layer of skin is lost. Grade 3 pressure ulcer involves epidermis, dermis and subcutaneous tissue and it may have slosh. Grade 4 pressure ulcer includes bones and it can lead to osteomyelitis. And the last stage is unstageable pressure ulcer where there will be black color scar over the ulcer. In this picture, the redness in shows stage 1 pressure ulcer where the epidermis and dermis layer includes in the stage 2 pressure ulcer and in stage 3 pressure ulcer it is spread to subcutaneous tissue and in stage 4 pressure ulcer the bones are involved. How will you prevent pressure ulcer in the prolonged bed ridden client? The prevention module of pressure ulcer is known as skin module. As for surface, 
provide ad mattress to the client. Another as for scheme inspection. Keep checking the scheme frequently. K for keep patient moving. Change the position every two hours. I for incontinence. Keep patient clean and dry. And N for the nutrition. Give high protein diet to the patient and keep patient well hydrated. What are the shockable rhythm? Ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. What are the types of shock? There are four types of shock. Cardiogenic shock, anaphylactic shock, hypovolemic shock and septic shock. Cardiogenic shock occurs when the heart is unable to supply blood to vital organs such as brain, kidney, liver and anaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic shock is another name of anaphylaxis. It is the reaction of certain allergens. Hypovolemic shock Hypovolemic shock is a life-threatening condition which is caused by rapid loss of blood or body fluids and it is commonly seen in vomiting, diarrhea and excessive bleeding. Septic shock is a condition caused by severe localized or system-related infection that requires immediate medical attention and it can cause organ failure and dangerously low blood pressure. How long will you do suctioning of a tracheostomy tube? 10 seconds. The suctioning of tracheostomy tube cannot be done for more than 10 seconds and the suction should be applied while withdrawing of the catheter. What is wall suction pressure setting for adults? 80 to 120 mm of Hg. What is narcotic policy? Narcotic drugs are prescribed by the doctors and no verbal or telephonic orders are acceptable for narcotics. The list of the narcotic drugs includes opium, heroin, cocaine or morphine or hydromorphine or it is fentanyl. And the prescribed drugs should be collected from the IP pharmacy by the registered nurse. And preparation and administration of the drug should be done under supervision of senior nurse. The empty ampules should be returned to the pharmacy. In case if there is any remaining drug which needs to be discarded, it must be done in the running water in the presence of senior nurse. List down 5 emergency drugs used in ICU. Injection atropine, injection adrenaline, injection coconate, injection sodium bicarbonate, injection dopamine, injection adrenaline, injection lidocaine, injection medazola, and injection hydrocortisol. What are the types of restraint? How will you prevent restraint related injury? There are three types of restraint, physical restraint, chemical restraint, and seclusion. Examples of physical restraint include mittent restraint, wrist restraint, blanket restraint, or jacket restraint. And the chemical restraint includes injection benzodiazepine or any antipsychotic drugs. The seclusion means keeping patient in a quiet place away from others. And how will you prevent skin injury in restrained patient? Keeping a two finger breath space and keeping easy release note. Release restraint every two hour and give range of motion exercise. And check the skin every two hourly for any skin damage. What are the immediate drugs used for the management of seizure? Injection medazolam and injection diazepine. 
during seizures do not restrain the patient keep patient on side lying position on a flat surface and prevent head injury look for a tongue bite do not remove dentures and keep monitoring patient after seizure clean the patient and monitor vital signs what is gcs explain the components of gcs gcs is a glasgow coma scale total score for gcs is 50 lowest score is 3 and less than 8 means comatose components of gcs includes EVM eye opening verbal response and motor response the score for eye opening is 4 the maximum score for verbal response is 5 and the maximum score for motor response is 6 so if patient opens the eye spontaneously score will be 4 If patient is responding to verbal command score will be 3 If patient is responding to painful stimuli score will be 2 and if there is no response score will be 1 If patient is well oriented with the time place and person score will be 5 If patient is confused score will be 4 If patient is responding with inappropriate words score will be 3 and if patient is making any incomprehensible sounds score will be 2 and give score 1 for no verbal response for the motor response if patient is obeying the command score will be 6 if patient is responding localized to pain The score will be five. If there is flexion or withdrawal to pain, score will be four. If there is decorticate posturing, the score will be three. There is decerebrate posturing, score will be two. And if there is no response to stimuli, the score will be one. So the minimum score is three. and the maximum score is 50 if the score is 15 by 15 means patient is well oriented with time place and person what is fast hug beat fast hug beat is a mnemonic used to identify drug related problems in icu f stands for feeding a stands for analgesia S stands for sedation T stands for thromboembolic prophylaxis H stands for head of bed elevation U stands for ulcer prophylaxis G stands for glycemic control B stands for bowel regimen I stands for indwelling catheter removal and D stands for deescalation of antibiotic how to prevent sepsis with central line patient first of all hand hygiene strict aseptic technique catheter site care with chlorhexidine at dressing changes dressing and tubing changes according to protocol and avoid femoral lines what are the documentation tool used for further for modified mos for risk assessment tool for dvt it is wells criteria for pressure ulcer it is braden scale and push to pressure ulcer healing chart for phlebitis it is vip score visual infusion phlebitis score what are high risk medications give example High risk medications are a high risk of causing patient harm or injury if misused or used in error. And the examples include a pinch, A for antimicrobials, P for potassium and other electrolytes and psychotropic drugs. 
I for insulin, N for narcotic, opioids and sedatives, C for chemotherapeutic drugs, H for heparin and other anticoagulants. What are Lhasa drugs? Give example. Lhasa drugs are look-alike and sound-alike drug. List of look-alike drugs are Tablet Avil and Tablet Lasix, Tablet Domstal and Tablet Alprex, Injection Magnamycin and Injection Magnex. List of sound alike drugs are Injection Ziplox and Tablet Ziplan, Tablet Trotin and Tablet Trophic, Tablet Ativan and Tablet Atorex. Thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying my video. If you have any suggestions, please mention in the comment section below. And if you want me to create a video on some specific topic, mention it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.